What is something that is universally a dick move? Treating waiters, waitresses like shit. Trying to squeeze in behind a merging car and screw up the zipper formation while merging. Also those idiots who drive in the shoulder of the road when traffic is congested or stopped. Whistling to retail workers to get their attention. We have an older guy that does this and thinks it's hilarious. I absolutely refuse to serve him and my co-worker has gone off about it before. Like seriously, we're not your dogs. Fuck off, as someone who has worked retail, this is the biggest pain. Moving your dick. Thank you for this contribution. Not offering a tampon to a sister in need. It's an internationally agreed rule. If she says fuck, in the bathroom, you ask if she needs one. Period. I see what you did there. Leaving a shopping cart in a parking space. Especially when the shopping cart thing. I honestly don't know what it's called. Is right there. You people couldn't walk an extra few feet. Cart corral. When someone cuts in line. I recommend a trip to either China. Or anywhere where there are lots of Chinese tourists. Once you have experienced Chinese line cutting. You will never. Ever. Complain about the occasional line cutters back home again. You underestimate my ability to complain. Literary. You're fucking up our beautiful world, you lazy, disgusting, entitled brat. FYI, cigarette butts are litter. Swerving between different lanes without signaling so you can get to your destination faster. Saving you at the very best just 1 to 2 minutes and 100% guaranteed to annoy people. Parking space theft when someone is clearly sitting there waiting for it. Getting upset about wearing masks. Or being that woman who cut a hole in her mask. Deleting your son's one-year-old Minecraft world because he didn't wake up in time. Fuck that guy. In 10 years he'll make another post asking for advice on how to get his son to speak to him again. Parking in a handicapped spot because you will only be a minute. Making plans with someone and then telling them you can't make it 30 minutes after the agreed upon. Time. Cheating in every way. Ghosting someone in a relationship. I feel like this is a necessary move sometimes though. People don't like being outright rejected either. Depends on the context for sure. The girl I dated for 5 years. Have said I'm going to marry. And is carrying my child. Yeah probably shouldn't ghost someone you had a conversation with on a dating app. Yeah that's totally fine to ghost. They still deserve some respect. They took the time to get to know you one night. The least you could say is I had a nice night but I'm not feeling the vibe. I wish you all the best it's not that hard to be a decent human being. Washing you windshield when there is a motorcycle behind you. The bigger dicks point their washers to the side so they can hit bicyclists. I actually never considered this. I don't think I've ever done this. But I'm definitely going to be more aware of when I use the windshield wiper fluid now. I'm not sure the word for it. But doing that thing where people always invalidate your feelings by one-upping with their own. Like, you think your job is stressful? Try having my job. You're proud of something your kid did today? My kid did something even better last year. You're not feeling well? Well I've been sick for weeks and haven't taken a single day off. Dot quote. I think the name is psychological invalidation. Yeah, it doesn't help mentality too much. Sending dick pics not asked for. Wronging an old person or someone handling a bad time. Like come on man, out of all criminals. Those who steal from the elderly are the ones I hate the most fuck those people. Brake checking and texting while driving. Edit. Made some people upset using the incorrect brake and by pointing out a dickish thing they do. As long as someone's not tailgating. Shit pisses me off when someone rides my ass in the right lane or something to force Emmy to move so. That they can continue ducking and weaving. If someone is being a prick. I may not brake check them but we're gonna go a whole lot slower. I flick my emergency lights on for a moment instead. It looks to the tailgater like I'm braking, getting them off my ass. But since I'm not actually slowing down, I'm not increasing my risk of being rear-ended. If your brake check becomes a brake check, you're doing it wrong. 
firing whistleblowers. Amazon has entered the chat. Was aimed at Trump but hey. Parking your car on someone's sandwich. John. Do I have to remind you? For the 21,469,878,941 pH time. To not. Hashtag F-U-C-K-I-N-G. Park your car on my asterisk fucking asterisk 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 S-A-N-D-W-I-C-H. Asterisk asterisk asterisk. Not sure how to feel about the lack of spacing between that H and R. Suspiciously specific. Lying to a partner or friend. Being nonchalant or putting down somebody who excitedly tells you about their accomplishment or work or whatever. Taking up two parking spaces. I mean, come on dude. Power move. Disassemble your car completely and place the pieces evenly into every single parking space. Thus taking up the entire lot. Got season 8. Breaking up with someone right after having sex with a monsieur. Ah yes the classic, so I just wanted to get some pleasure first but fuck you. Non-literally this time. Not saying thank you after I opened the door for you. Went from feeling like a gentleman to a servant in less than minute. Abandoning a man, using his own portal gun. At least in bird culture. Making a political argument, then saying that your politics are personal. I have so much trouble explaining to people the difference between my political opinions and my personal ethics. Believe it or not, there's a difference. Whistling, clicking at wait staff. Queue jumping not returning your shopping trolley to the corral. So many words I understand but never use in my daily life. I love it. Putting your bag on the seat next to you in a busy train, subway, bus. Genocide. People that interrupt an employee actively helping someone and say, I just have a quick question. That was one of the most annoying things. I'd already be fast walking around the store trying to find something for someone. Then whoever asked you a question gets pissy when you can't help them right away and the person you're already helping gets pissy too because you were stopped playing music so loud that your neighbors can hear it, especially in the middle of the night. Someone acting like a comedian in front of the girl you like, your girlfriend. The classic inverse wingman, shitting on someone else's interests. Not saying thank you when someone holds the door open for you. Letting your dog run off leash in a leash required area. You don't know if other people's dogs don't like this. Or if it could approach someone with dog fears and cause an incident that could penalize. Responsible dog parents. That yanking handshake that Trump does. At graduation last year, the students started doing that to the principal. I'll admit I was secretly laughing inside at his discomfort. Fucking your siblings partner. Ryan Giggs has entered the chat. Sleeping with your friend's ex. Fuck that, you don't own your ex. Somehow, you're both right. Well of course not. And you can sleep with whoever you want. But if you're telling me that it wouldn't sting just a little bit to find out that one of your friends had slept with one of your exes. I'm just saying it's a dick move to do to your friend. No one owns anyone. Figured that went without saying. Can't believe I have to say this. But stopping and waiting on traffic before merging onto the interstate. Hi, the interstate is the road that goes through multiple states, right? I'm a European so excuse my unknowingness XD. It's generally a controlled access highway with multiple lanes each way. At least two on the open rural areas and four or more lanes in developed areas. The highway shares some similarities but is in controlled access with on and off ramps. You have your turn signal on in a crowded parking lot, indicating that you're about to take an open parking space. But before you can pull in, a driver coming in the opposite direction, without blinkers on, pulls in ahead of you, denying you the space and aggressively taking it for himself. Anything a Karen does. Fuck Karen. Hanging toilet paper with the open end and back. Ditching your friend to hang out with someone else. Eating the last slice of pizza when you didn't buy it. All Rick's moves are considered dick moves. As a man, adjusting yourself through your trousers while out in public. Not holding the door open for the person behind you. 
On the flip side, giving a person who's holding the door for you that displeased nobleman look and not saying thank you. Drag queen talking, leaving a shopping cart at the very end of a parking lot. Coming into a grocery store when we close in less than five minutes and expect to get a full carts worth of groceries. To those that do this, you see the sign before you walk in. Don't act surprised when we tell you that's enough and to go to checkout. Not waving, smiling or saying hello to someone who just said hello to you first. Dating a fellow brother's girlfriend, or vice versa. Not cleaning up after yourself in communal places like public toilets. It's really not that hard to pick up that toilet brush and send your sticky shit on its merry way. The worst example of this though. I lived in a housing for students by a uni. I guess most of the people there were pampered to hell and back. Because they could not clean up after themselves for shit. I am talking about eating a chicken and leaving the bones in the sink with a garbage bin but a couple of meters away. I visited my friend at her prestigious expensive school and there were so many plates and cups, etc. that had just been left everywhere. Like even outside on the ground. She told me almost everyone at the school had a maid at home so they never picked up after themselves. Interrupting your friend when they are talking to a guy, girl, flirting, etc. Entering a vagina. Not always. Meat substitutes have entered chat. Pressuring your friend to break up with their guy, girl and then moving in on the ex. That's not a friend. Had a friend that did this to me. He was excluded from every friend group for being a dick. Not putting your shopping cart away. Leaving it in the middle of the parking lot or blocking a space. Punching someone in the dick. It's genuinely not that hard to bring it to the corral. I agree. In California specifically Los Angeles when people go into the right turn lane when it's red and gas and when it turns green to cut you off. Apartment building dwellers who don't leave their garbage bags in the proper place. I've seen people just leave bags out in the hallway in one occasion a lady who, who used to dump her garbage bag out the window down to the garage below, blocking a doorway or a path so someone has to try squeeze past. It's not a power move it just makes them look like a dick. Honking at the person in front of you to move 0.000043 seconds after the light turned green. Taking away your son's PS4 for a year. The guy who deleted his son's Mick World. Are you challenging me? No because he went to hell's hell. Super hell. Provoking people in front of their children. Passing the entire line of cars waiting on the off-ramp in traffic and then dipping in at the last. Second. By far the number one universal dick move is taking up two parking bays because you either can't park are you afraid to get your car scratched when people only come around or hit you up only when they need something. Deleting your son's Minecraft world he worked on for a year. Hitting on your friend's romantic partners. Flirting with your best friend's ex. Putting your dick where it doesn't belong. Watching a Scarlett Johansson movie. She's hot though. Pretty sure op literally meant that SJ makes his dick move. LOL. I'll give him an upvote for that. That joke is good. Richard walking to the toilet. Richard dancing. Unsolicited dick pics. Licking all the coins before you hand them to the customer for their change. Are suspiciously specific. After getting out of the shower and helicoptering. My dog just died. And my best friend just said oh. Nothing more. It really sucks to lose your dog and best friend at the same day. Super gluing shit to other shit so you can't use the monsieur. Parking in more than one space. Getting on public transport first even though you was last one there and their elderly. Disabled parents with prams there first. Disregarding someone for their race, gender, sexual orientation, disabled or elderly. BMW Audi drivers who think they are above the law. Buying no pulp OJ. Pulp is nasty. Getting with one of your friend's exes right after they break up. Going to a house party with no alcohol of your own and just picking up a can without asking. You people know who you are. 
getting political for no reason. There's always one person that does this in any public setting and it's always so annoying and unnecessary. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.